as we all know, water pollution has become one of the biggest issues of the 21st century. And among all the pollutants of water, the worst is oil. Every year, tons of oil from various sources are dumped into the various water bodies, which not only destroys the ecosystem, but makes the water unsuitable for any productive purposes. So one day when I was 12 years old, and I was just watching my TV, and I was switching from one channel to another, there in a renowned news channel, for the first time in my life, I saw the harmful effects of water pollution caused by the oil effluents. And there, for the first time, I thought that something must be done in order to prevent this water pollution. And so I was in search for some easy and inexpensive ways to control this water pollution caused by the oil effluents. So, one day, as I was recollecting my childhood memories, all of a sudden I recall that when I was a small child, my mother used to put oil in my hair, which I absolutely disliked, because the oil used to get stick to my hair, and it was very irritating. Then, all of a sudden, something struck my mind, that why the oil used to get stick to my hair? Therefore, human hair must have some kind of property because of which oil gets stick to it. So, what I did, I got a beaker from my school laboratory, I poured some water, and then I poured some oil. As you can see, everyone, the oil has formed a layer over the water surface. The next thing what I did, I got some waste human hair. I put that in this water containing the oil effluents. Now we'll see what happens after some time. Moving on, one day, as I was just browsing in the internet, I came across a newspaper article which stated that during the Gulf War, there was an accidental oil spillage in southern Kuwait because of which tons of oil was spilled over the Persian Gulf, which led to the death of thousands of migratory birds that visit the Persian Gulf every year because the oil was stuck to their feathers, which rendered them unable to fly and eventually led to their death. All of a sudden, another thing struck my mind. Why the oil got stuck to their feathers? Therefore, bird feathers also must have some kind of property because of which the oil gets stick to it. So, I got a beaker, poured some water, poured some oil, and then I put some bird feathers in it. Now, moving on, one day, a carpenter in my house, he accidentally spilled some oil on the floor, and then he cleaned it using some sawdust. When I observed the sawdust carefully, I saw the oil was stuck to its surface. So I thought that <laughs> sawdust also must have some kind of property because of which the oil gets stick to it. So once again, the same experiment, poured some water, poured some oil, the oil has formed a layer over the water surface, and then I added some sawdust. Now, we'll, I'm going to remove each and every ingredient one after one. So let's move on to our first ingredient, waste human hair. As you can see, everyone, 95% of the oil effluents are removed in the very first attempt itself. Now, moving on to our second ingredient, that is bird feathers. Just like the previous one, 95% of the oil effluents are removed in the very first attempt itself. Now, to our final ingredient, 
sawdust. Once again, 95% of the oil effluents are removed in the very first attempt itself. So in this way, I found three ingredients for cleaning the oil effluents from water. There are many advantages of this idea because all the ingredients which I have used for removing these oil effluents from water, these are all wastes themselves. So this process involves cleaning one waste with another waste. It is a very easy, inexpensive, and hassle-free way to remove the oil effluents from water. And now I'm trying to give this idea the shape of technology by creating a machine that is going to use all these ingredients for removing the oil effluents from water. And that very same machine is going to use the residue that has been left out over here to soak the oil from them and that oil can be reused once again by the industries and by the refineries. Hence, it is going to make oil a reusable source of energy. And I plan to work more on pollution and environment because I want to save this world and to save this environment where we all live in. Thank you very much.